Welcome in to Bon Appetit and actually to your health. And as mm -hmm. a disclaimer, I'd like to be clear. This involves the keto diet. We don't recommend any diets. So there is this, this diet is very popular right now. Yes. You want to research any diet that you go on and discuss mm -hmm. that with your physician. But we want to bring you an amazing chef, Michael Schwartz. And Michael, you were the Capital City Club for years. Yes. And he was kind enough today to come in and make a dish that is absolutely great. So an Michael, entree, a nice entree dish. Yeah, an entree with a couple of different components, yeah. all 100% keto, which is uh, low carbs. Mm -hmm. and, okay. All right, so what we have today is uh, roasted soy roasted chicken, mm. all right, with braised spinach, a little bit of tomatoes, um, a couple of almonds, and then a butternut squash slash goat cheese fritter. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Okay, this will be fun. All right, so we're just going to get it on the menu, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. But so it's we're just going to get started right away here. This is uh, another one of those one pan fits all dishes. Okay. I we'll love that nice, process um, with that. Extra virgin olive oil there. A little bit of uh, olive oil. All right, we're going to throw the spinach in. It's going to pop. Sure did pop. I love spinach. That's so good for you. I like pop spinach. This is one of those things where it doesn't take a long, <laughs> doesn't take a long I'm time. Glad, I'm glad a couple of those came out of there. Right. Because if I did it, the whole pot would be out of there. Salt and pepper. This is, uh, as I said, one of those dishes where you cook it quickly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot to get it cooked. And all we're trying to do is really knock the rawness out of it. It's going to add some flavor. Mm -hmm. But uh, spinach is mostly water, so it's going to cook down. All right, and then we're just going to take that out. It's very good for you too, spinach. What are, yeah, what are, what are the good yeah. vitamins in spinach? By the oh, way, oh, I, I couldn't, just I couldn't even tell them. you all right at the moment. All right, and so once Whoop, the spinach is raw, you still want that on? Yeah, huh? please. Okay. <laughs> all right, we're cooking. <laughs> but what you can do is uh, move that to medium. All right, I'm on medium. All right, and while that's heating up, what we've got is the spaghetti squash. I'm good at so spaghetti squash right. available all year long. And it's mm -hmm. fun, and, and it's, it's tasty. Fun. And all we did right here was we took the spaghetti squash and we cut it in half, okay. all right? And with this, uh, at your oven at home, you're just gonna take a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then throw it into the oven and roast it for about 35 or 45 minutes. 350, okay. 450, whatever okay. it takes, okay. all right? Okay. You're going to keep an eye on it. At the end, what comes out is this beautiful okay, product the camera. right oh. here. There you go. All right, so what we're going to do now is once that is cooled, we're going to remove the seeds out of it, go to mm -hmm. the garbage can, and that is what's left, basically the squash, the edible part that's on the inside. Ooh. So see how easy that comes out? Yes. Wow. All yes. right? And it has great texture to it. Mm -hmm. So we'll take this, and we're going to work in a little bit of goat cheese. How can this be bad? It can't. How can it be bad? <laughs> now you, you have to like these uh, ingredients. Um, Jack, would you mind turning that down just a skosh? I got it. A little bit of salt, a little bit like, of pepper. There's no S on here for skosh, but uh, I put, okay, it down, done, I put it down to L-O. Down to yeah. L-O, oh. that'll, that'll work, all right? So all we're gonna do here in this case is we're just gonna simply fold that together mm -hmm. and make a little bit of a mash. Now you could eat it like this, pop it in the microwave and it makes a good uh, starchy kind of uh, uh, side dish for you. But in our case today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this mixture. So this is becoming a side for the meal here. This is yeah. becoming, yeah, just an accoutrement to the, okay. uh, to the meal. Oh. All right. Now, it's got a ton of flavor in it. It has a lot of good stuff for you nutritionally. So we're just going to take that, and I've made a mixture of almond flour, a little bit of coconut flour, salt, pepper, and paprika. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then these are simply going to just uh, drop right in. So, Michael, you're going to give us this recipe, right? I am going to give you this recipe, okay. without a doubt. So if our viewers want this recipe, just give me a call at 277-5000 mm -hmm. or go to the YouTube channel and mm -hmm. look for Time of Your Life, Bon Appetit. Jack, yeah. would you pop that up just a little bit? All right. that heat pop up just a little bit? Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to add just a touch more oil in there just to get these fritters. All right. Hey, my now, wife, there's no gluten in this as well. My wife would be proud of the fact that I'm doing Turn this. Turn it up. <laughs> this, Turn is it my, up. this is my attempt at cooking. Mm. So while those are cooking... We'll talk a little bit about the spaghetti squash and okay. it's these, as I mentioned before, they're available year round. Okay. Uh, they taste great. The texture mm -hmm. is awesome. I, I love good. the stringy. That's yes. why they call it spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Yes, so yes. Now you can, good. you can overcook it. So you want to make sure that you're not over roasting it. Uh, okay. It doesn't hurt it. It's just going to make the, uh, uh, the texture of it just a little um, bit more soft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I recommend, um, working it for about 35 or 40 minutes okay. at 350, 350 450. 375. And you'll keep right an eye on it. And okay. if you have to throw a little bit of tin foil on top of it, every oven 
something that's different. True, right. true. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these, and now that they're done, remember that squash is fully it's cooked. It's already cooked. The cheese you can eat right out of the package, right. so there's no danger of any kind of... Uh, of, of rawness in this. So you can eat it right out of the pan. Mm -hmm. so all I did, quite frankly, was take these and get a little bit of brownness on there and add a little bit of flavor to that. Hmm. All right, so let's do this. Let's take, uh, since it is a one pan deal, and notice that I didn't do the temperature so hot that it burned. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, um, and I coated it enough so that the pan is clean. Fantastic. Right. So we're back into one pan. Jack, if you would turn that back up to about medium high. Got and it. And then we're <laughs> going to uh, take a little bit of the olive oil. I'm going to become a nice Back in there. Piece. And then we have our chicken. Right there. Right there. All I did on this, right, quite frankly, is I took a little bit of soy sauce, okay. a little bit of cracked pepper, a pinch of garlic, and some oil. Mm -hmm. All right? Don't use your expensive olive oil. Use your lesser expensive okay. baby vegetable oil. Okay. All right? And now let it sit for about seven or eight hours, and it's going to pick up a ton Ooh, of flavor. Wow. Okay. Now, okay. I'll give you the recipe on that as well. But okay. This works for, uh, for duck. It works for mainly all poultry. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And it's going to add a ton okay. of flavor. Now, we didn't put any salt in there. The soy sauce has Ooh, a, a salt salty. Yes. sodium to it. So... All right, and when that picks up the temperature, and you can see the, that it is, we're going to go skin side down. All right. And then we're just going to let that uh, pick up a lot of color on there. And mm -hmm. then once this picks up color on both sides, about three to four minutes on a side, you can pop it into an oven and then roast that until it's done. In this I'll particular be. case, okay. about 15 minutes or so on 350, and then okay. pull it out and let it rest. And then you're okay. golden. You're ready okay. to go. Ready to go. All right. Huh? So while okay. this is cooking, all right. You need to bring over the. Yes. Okay. We'll land this too. Make sure that we got nice, some mm -hmm. good camera shots. Let me all move right. this handle around this way. And so that, that is the finished product. You. And then we're just going to take these delicious fritters. I want to make the whole <laughs> meal out of the fritter. Oh, you you absolutely you could. Can. Yeah, you could. You absolutely could. Nice. Yeah. And then we're going to finish it with a couple of toasted almonds. Ooh. And those almonds are going to add a lot of flavor. They're going to add some texture and to it And that's healthy, well. too. That's right. I love yeah. it. It's all healthy. Right. Yeah. That is all healthy. I like that. Well, thank you, Wonderful. man. Always Wonderful. good. And just remember this. A keto diet is good for you. Make sure you check with your physicians, though, before you get on any kind of a diet. And we'll be right back right after this.